Here's how to make some really simple procedural geometry node vines with the curve tool. First up, hide the default cube. That's right, we're keeping the blender box. Then add a new curve object and switch to the geometry nodes workspace. Hit new, then shift A and search for a curve to mesh node and drop it between input and output. Then add a curve circle node and connect it to the profile curve input. Reduce the resolution to around eight and the radius to about 0.01. Link the radius to your group input to expose it in the modifiers panel, just so we can edit it easier later on. Press N, go to group, and name radius as vine thickness. It's a bit unwieldy to adjust at the moment, so drop a math node set to divide between vine thickness and curved circle nodes. Set the value to 100, then turn the thickness back up, much easier to control. Add in a distribute points on faces node, connect it to the curve to mesh node, then add an instance on points node, link that up, and finally a join geometry node and connect that to the group output. Then to bring the curve back, connect the curve to mesh directly to the join geometry node. Add in a new plane and scale it to 0.05, then apply the scale. Select your vine and pin the geometry nodes panel to keep the view in your workspace. Go to edit mode in the plane and move the mesh so that the origin is on an edge, then subdivide it a few times. Move either edge up on the z-axis a little bit, right click and shade smooth. Then add a simple deform modifier set to bend. This will be our leaf for now. Add an object info node and eyedropper the leaf. Connect its geometry output to the instance input of the instance on points node. Increase the density on the distribute points node. That adds some leaves, but they're all facing the same way, which is no good. So instead, switch random to Poisson disk, crank that density max up a little bit too. Expose that value and make it manageable with a multiply math node. Add a random value node set to vector and plug it into the rotation of the instance on points node. Set the max value to tau, which is twice pi, so max 360 degrees rotation. Add another random value node Leave this one on float and connect it to the scale input. Let's set a minimum of 0.8 and a max of 1.2, so it's a little bit under and over our original plane size. Expose the minimum value. To get a simple material for the vine, add a set material node between the curve to mesh and join geometry nodes. Go to the shading window and add a new material. I'll just set it to dark brown for now. Back in geometry node view, select it from the dropdown. Add whatever material you like to your leaves. This one I got from Ambient CG. Hide the original leaf. Back in layout view, bring back the default cube and tab into edit mode on the vine. Press A, then X to select all vertices and delete them. Switch to the draw curve tool and press N to bring up the active tool properties. Under tool, select surface, then draw on your bender box. Remember, you can control your vines via your exposed settings. And that's it, curved based geometry node vines. Cheers! There's plenty more on the channel if you're interested, so subscribe.